with everybody kind of everywhere, right? Could you advise what is the best way to bring the team together in such a setting? Yes, I think um, you know. I think the first thing is that it's important to create a people first culture. You know, when when teams get bigger and more remote, it's important to create this culture of inclusiveness and one where you know voices can be heard, no matter where you are in the in the world. Um, you know, management it's important for management to be open and transparent in all our sharings, whether you know it is celebrating wins or failures or talking about issues that we face as a company. I think it shows accountability. It shows that you know we are all working together as a team. And by doing you know this uh, two-way transparent conversations, it allows people to be more bonded closer together. I think uh, it ensures buy-in uh, you know, to the vision and ensures that people work together uh, closer. I think this is extremely important and it's not just, you know, I think top-down is, uh, is one, but it's also about everyone having this kind of mindset that we all are working together as a team, you know, one team, one dream, right? I think that's that's very important. Um, and I think to foster this kind of uh, concept, uh, as a company, we do many team activities. Uh, Eagle Week is one that we do once a quarter, where it's uh, essentially a week where we bring all the different stakeholders, uh, or essentially the whole team together, where different departments will share the what did they do well, you know, what are things that they would like to see more and what do they need help from other departments and everyone comes together to celebrate uh, wins together and talk about some of the issues that we face together uh, openly um, we extend this beyond just uh, the team itself where once a year we run EGUCON which is our distributor conference or partner conference where we also you know invite all our distribution partners all around the world together on the same platform before COVID you'll be physically together but now during COVID is largely online we're hoping to go into a hybrid mode next year, uh, where once again we bring everyone together to see the vision and discuss about it and and you know uh, celebrate wins together. Yeah, I think I think by by having everyone realize that uh, it's not the one man show. It's really everyone working together. Um, you know, it, it's it's really something that we continuously drive. Uh, the, the it's such a culture forward. Mm. Mm, mm. Yeah, thanks for sharing on on Igloo Week and also Igloo Con, right? The kind of uh, brings people together and I believe you're also kind of skilling on your team right hiring a few uh, a handful of positions so what are you looking for um, in new employees or new hires right uh, new people coming in right so what are you what, what kind of characteristic or kind of character you uh, look look for in them yeah um, this is actually uh, very important as, as the company is growing right you want to bring the right people in to take on the right job and someone who can not just fit the culture but value it to the culture uh, of the company. So we evaluate for both aptitude, uh, which is basically the ability to learn something quick, uh, and attitude, or someone who is respectful, professional within the organization. Uh, I think it's, I think the three traits that I really look out for is someone who is humble, smart, and hungry. Right? It doesn't really work if you only have two and not the, the last one. If you are humble and smart but not hungry, you will not push yourself, you will not push the people around you, and you just be happy with the status quo, right? If you're humble and hungry but not smart, you know you might end up doing the wrong direction, and it's it's, uh, it's not the right right path, lah, right? Uh, and the worst is if you're hungry and smart but not humble, you can be destructive to the culture with your ego that you, you bring with you, lah. So I think we, we try to evaluate for all three. Uh, it's not easy, especially when you go through interviews just a couple of hours. Um, of course, internally within the company, we have core values as well. Uh, you know, but uh, the important thing here is to not just evaluate for culture fit, but uh, culture add to the company, so that everyone who brings that we bring into the company continuously helps to build the, build on the foundation that everyone here has put together, and as a company we can we can improve. Uh.